Hi fellas, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to decapsulate or decrypt the ESP packet, which is the IPsec encrypted packet using the protocol ESP. So let's get started. I have done it on 40 gate firewall, no matter whichever uh, device or security appliance you choose, make sure you have the SPI value and the corresponding uh, encryption or the decryption key. So before starting, I would like you to tell you about the resource. I, you can go to the 48 KB to understand more about the decryption and decapsulation of ESP packet. Well, um, in IPsec, basically there are two channels. One is the outbound channel, other one is the inbound channel. So for the outbound channel, you will have a different encryption key. For the inbound channel, you will have a different decryption key. So I have already taken the capture here. Uh, like you can see in my screen, um, you can see here, uh, this is the inbound SPI for this particular device. So it is going to use this key to decrypt the inbound traffic. And this is the outbound SPI. And it is going to use this key to encrypt the traffic. So when I am receiving a ESP packet, which is encrypted, it is going to be using this inbound SPI. The packet will have the SPI value of this. And I can use this particular key to decrypt the packet. And in the similar way, uh, in the opposite direction, when you are doing the encryption, you will put the SPI value as this, and you will use this particular key for the encryption. And the other end will use his inbound and his inbound decryption key to decrypt the packet on his end. So I have taken the capture on the 40 gate firewall. So let me show you the capture. So this is the traffic coming from outside to inside. 108 is the 40 gate firewalls uh, IP address. So this is the inbound traffic. And if you expand this, you can see here, the SPI value is 85822183. So this is the inbound SPI. If you go ahead, check in 40 gate firewall, you will see that the inbound SPI is matching and I'm going to use this key to decapsulate the traffic and I'm going to use this particular key for the authentication of the package. So how to do that? Let's get started. So click on this, go to preference, ESP, A. here you will have to add, okay? This is one way, other way is to go to preference, expand the protocol, type ESP, and you can see here, there are options, and I want to decode the encrypted ESP payload, so I'm gonna click this, and you can check uh, the other options if you really are interested to do so. Okay, so click edit. This is other way. So I'm gonna show you the way, the easiest way. Go to protocol preference, ESP SA, click on this, okay? So you can see on the capture that your source IP is 192.168.0.200 and your destination IP is 192.168.0.10H, okay? So you have to fill the SPI value. Well, you can either copy this, since I have opened this particular window, so I'm gonna copy from here. Okay, 383, from here, 383. And mind you, this value is in hexadecimal format. So you are supposed to put zero cross, so that the Wireshark can understand that this value is in hexa uh, a decimal format. So 
So you can see clearly on my screen that uh, the encryption technique used was DES. So you will use DES for the encryption and for the decryption. So you can see here DES CVC, Cypher blockchain, RFC 2405, select that. And the encryption key is again in hex format. So make sure you put zero cross in front of the value so that the Wireshark can understand that the value is in hex. And if you want, you can put the authentication mechanism as well. In my case, you, if you see here, I have used SHA-1 HMAC for the authentication mechanism. So you can put here SHA-1 404 RFC. Okay. And you can copy this particular value. Again, this value is in hex format. So you can paste like this. Okay. This is for the inbound traffic. And how about the traffic that is going from inside to outside, which means my 40 gate firewall is sending the traffic. So in that case, well, I will reverse the flow. Okay. And I'm going to put the destination as, okay. So I'm going to put my SPI value, outbound SPI as this, which is going to be in hex, like I told you already. And my outbound uh, encryption algorithm that I'm using here is again this. Okay, so you can copy the key, which is in hex format. Make sure you put zero cross before the value. And again, I'm using SHA-1, HMAC SHA-1 to 404 RFC. And I'm going to copy the same key that you see here for the authentication. All right, so we are done. So if you go here, you can see it is decapsulating and decrypting the payload, the ESP payload. Earlier it was not, but now it is able to decapsulate the payload. You can see here clearly that inside my ESP payload, these are the payload, these are the ICMP type 8 code zero, uh, the ICMP payload that gets encapsulated into IP and then it gets encapsulated and encrypted into ESP. So, before, before doing this, you were only able to see the SPI value and the payload length. But then now you can see here, I'm able to decrypt and decapsulate the entire payload. And that goes for a both direction. You can see here, this is the original IP, which is initiating the traffic. Okay, and you can compare it with the IP address that ESP is using because the ESP is going to use the peer IP, which is the initiation source, which is initiating the traffic, the public IP on your source interface from where you're initiating the IP set and the other end's peer IP, which is 108. But if you clearly see the Wireshark is showing you the source IP and destination IP as the original IP, which actually initiated the ICMP thing. In our case, you will see type 8 code zero. Let me show you. So you can see here, this is clearly type 8 code zero, which is the ICMP echo request, which is getting encapsulated into IP. And then after that, it is getting encrypted under ESP. Okay, see the other end? This is the F F reply, type zero code zero. Okay, this is the ICMP reply for that particular thing which gets encapsulated into, again, IP header. You can see the destination IP and the source IP, but the actual peer IP is 108 to 200, which is the 40 gate sending it to 200. And this packet is encapsulated, encrypted, but then you have applied the keys and the corresponding SPI so that you can see the uh, data. So this will be helpful for you to understand the packet flow to do a debug to try to understand if there is any loss so you can analyze your traffic take a capture 
all right friends so that's all in today's video hope you really enjoyed it um do leave your comments in the comment sections if you have any issues uh please do subscribe to my channel and stay safe have a good day bye bye